Hi, this is Michael Eskin from AppCordians.com. In this demo video, I'm going to show you how to use the new MIDI sound module features of the Dusty Strings D550 app with other MIDI file player apps. In this example, I'm going to use an app called Sweet MIDI Player, but there are many others that will have similar settings. First, you'll want to launch the D550 app. If you go to the settings page, you'll notice there's a new setting for the MIDI channel. It defaults to channel 1. That's fine. I would leave it there. Next, you can close the app. It's still running in the background. And open up your MIDI player. You'll want to look for MIDI settings somewhere in your player app. So I'll bring up the settings. And you'll see that there's a sound option with output type in which case it has two selections, internal synth or core MIDI, you'll want to select core MIDI. That tells it to look for other apps on the iPad that are available to use as sound modules. And then MIDI output, you'll want to open that and you'll see it'll list all the available synthesizer apps. In this case, Dusty Strings is available, so I pick it. Now I can go ahead and pick a tune to play. I'll bring up the mixer and you hit play. You can see the volume control functions. Now just to be clear, what we have here is the Sweet MIDI player using Core MIDI to talk to the Dusty Strings D550 app, which it's using as a sound module. Other apps have similar MIDI settings, so you'll want to look for those and connect them to the Dusty Strings app like I did for the Sweet MIDI player. Have fun!